you, Fale. Thanks a lot for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, you don't like musical barriers, and where do you search inspiration? <laughs> Difficult to say. Uh, of course, I have, I have two things to answer. One is, I, of course, I get the inspiration from other colleagues, from Terrier, sitting over there, and uh, playing with him, and playing with other people, and then uh, thinking of, why are we here on Earth? Why? What is? What is the reason for for all this? What we're doing? You know. What, what, why are we here? Maybe you can answer that question. <laughs> Maybe you are cleverer than me. Why are we here? That that those two uh, philosophical questions. And then, of course, I listen to music. I listen to Louis Armstrong, and I listen to uh, 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 maestros. Miles, maestros uh, here and there, so I get a, a stereo effect, <laughs> one very physical and one very metaphysical, yes. During the years you develop your own uh, voice and sound, is it possible to describe it? How much this sound is telling us about you? How much is it telling you? Oh, everything. <laughs> it's there. It's so open. Of course, I have secrets, which are not in my trumpet playing. <laughs> but what I like to think of is the vocalise, the vocalise, the sound of the trumpet should be like a vocalise. Yes, I, I, I never thought like an actual trumpet player. I thought of a guy with a trumpet who likes to sing. But you can't sing, but you can play. <laughs> that is how it, it came, yes. Of course, I have practiced and all that. But uh, I, I don't know. I think you can hear more about me when you hear us play than I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miles Davis has been a cornerstone in jazz and father of a lot of modern jazz. Mm -hmm. You work with him in a deep collaboration. What is his legacy now? Which kind of memories do you have of this partnership? I, I, met, I met a master. I met an absolutely master. The creator of, you know, what, what he did to music. Mm -hmm. he, himself, he said, I changed the music five times, he said, <laughs> yes, uh, and he did. Uh, so what, do, it was a guardian in, angel mm. who took me to meet him. And of course, uh, other people I met in, in that field. But maybe he was, you know, he was so ordinary, so grounded and still so big. He was all over the place. I don't know, you're asking his legacy, you mean now. I could fear that he will disappear. Hmm. I could fear, but for us who was there when he created it, it's everything. Without him, I think everything would be different. So uh, the legacy is we met a, a, a genius and I'm very pleased to have had that opportunity, the guardian angel. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> communication yes. is spiritual and language of music well, is communication. Yes, of course, yes, that too. We, we communicate hopefully Sometimes we do more than other times, but we, we try to communicate when we play. But it's also a very personal thing. It's, it's very, very personal why we play. It's a, it's, a very, it's, it's a very musical and very spiritual thing to play this music. And I don't know, I have no mission. I'm not a missionary. 
I'm not a priest. I, I have no intention to, to tell anybody. I'm not a judge to tell anybody, you should do this or you should do that or you should do that. It's, it's not in, in my capacity. But to speak with your trumpet. I, I, can, do, I can speak and say, say, this is how far I came in this life. <laughs> and I don't know what else to say. This is, this is me. Yes. That's fine. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Pala. Yes.